to the guy who invented zero. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Quick video today to go through the different things on your fire stick that you don't usually check or look at. Now there's a number of things you're going to get from doing things like in this video. We're going to see how much data Amazon can collect. We're going to see how we can make this device run a bit better because there are a lot of processors going off in the background, but it's only a small device, so we want the least running as possible. Now, things change on these devices each year. I'm on a Fire Stick 4K Max, but obviously, this is going to work on any Amazon device. And what I'm going to start with is, I want you to let me know if you do this. If I go to Settings and I go to Applications, Manage Installed Applications, if I just get rid of me one moment, what you're going to see is, it says, press the Play Pause button to uninstall, or press the Rewind button to clear cache. And as you can see at the moment, the amount of cache in this one app is 20 meg. So obviously, that accumulator does take up quite a lot, and if I press the Rewind button, what you're going to see is we can confirm that, and it clears it straight away. Now, do you clear the cache... On your device or do you just leave it i'm not one for really clearing the cache i just let it do its thing but i know a lot of people do now another thing we do want to look at is if i go to settings down and across to preferences we're going to see where it says privacy settings if i click on that you're going to see there's a few different things inside here one of them being device usage data and what this does is use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes so basically i think what that's saying is amazon monitor what you're doing to be able to serve you the correct ads and things like that and i know a lot of people aren't a fan so what we can do is turn that off you've got collect app usage data and this allows the App Store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. Another thing a lot of people aren't a fan of, we can turn that off as well. Then interest-based ads, which is going to be used from the data collected from you. And once again, you can turn that off as well. Now, what I will say is, you don't have to follow every step in this video, granted. It's just something I like to make to make people aware of what they can and can't do, because... These kind of settings aren't something you generally see when you're using the Fire Stick for normal purposes. And also, if you find that any applications aren't working properly after making any adjustments, take note of what you've changed so you can go back if this is the case. So once they're turned off, we've got something called Data Usage Monitoring. And if I click on this, what this is going to do is monitor the data consumption on your Fire Stick or on your Fire TV device. If you're somebody that uses your mobile data or you've got a cap on your internet, what you can do, you can change the video quality and this is going to save internet data. You can set a data alert. So once you've used so many gigabyte, it can alert you. Or if you don't want it to monitor the data usage at all, we can turn that off. Now we see notification settings. Now this is something that's been getting on my nerves lately. I keep getting random notifications, especially for something called music. And I don't know what app it's for because it doesn't show me an app, but I just keep getting a notification for music. But if I click on it, you can see there's a list of applications and they're all turned on. You can turn those off or you can click on do not interrupt. It's up to you. Now one thing you can see here is something called featured content. Now featured content is something that plays on the home screen Screen. If I go back home, I click up, you're going to see this banner here, and then it just starts empire. randomly playing. And if you're searching in peace, or you've got the kids in bed, and they just start randomly playing something really loud, it can do your tits in. But also, it's using resources in the background, and we can turn that off simply by going to settings, preferences, back into featured content, and turning those off. Now, when I go back home, you're going to see if I leave it on there, it's not going to start randomly playing. And something else I'd recommend doing as well, especially if you've got children that use the device, is go to settings, applications, and then under here, you're going to see it says App Store. Now, you've got external links. Make sure this is set to ask before opening. If you don't want them to do it at all, click don't open. Or you can actually just open with the Amazon Store. But then you've also got in-app purchases. I'm going to turn these off. The reason being, I was out one day and found out I bought 
a full series of Peppa Pig, which was overpriced. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed a lot of people do is inside your applications and manage installed, you're going to see something that says sort. And then if we go down to recency, is that how you say it? For some reason, mine are like showing upside down. I'd expect the most recent to show at the top. But you're going to see the apps that you never use. So if you don't need them on your device, you might as well uninstall them. Such as if I go down here, you can see what I've used today. But some of these apps I've not actually opened today when using this device. So this is something else that could affect how your device runs. And if I go across the search icon, type in background apps and process list or just start typing in, it comes up there. Click on it. And we're going to download and install it. Now, there are alternative apps you can use for this sort of process, but this is the one I'm going to use in this video. I'm going to click on Home. I'm going to go back to the application section here. Click on where it says Background Apps and Process List, and when I open it up, you're going to see... Let me just scroll down to Got It. These are the apps that are running in the background of my device, even though I don't need them open and I don't need them running. All you've got to do is click on it, click on force stop, and then you can see that's no longer running in the background. Now, a lot of people may say, why do I want to do that? I can just go into the application and force stop. That application tells you which apps to force stop and which apps are running in the background. Now, one of the alternative apps you can use, which does have a few more features inside it as well, is called Def Squid. And there's a lot of people been using this over the background apps and process list app. And what this does, go into the Amazon store, start typing it in, and there it is. Download that. Then once that's finished, I'm just going to open it up from here. Obviously, you'll be able to find it in your application section. You're going to get a little notice that comes up there. I'm going to click Dismiss. And you have got a few different things in here, like we said, including a cleaner, a virus scanner, and something says Manage Apps. And this also shows you which apps are running in the background and once again works the same. Click it, click Force Stop, click the Back button, and now that application stopped and is no longer running in the background. Like I said, we've got a virus scanner. We can do a deep scan or we can scan individual apps. So if I want to scan the YouTube app, as you can see, it tells me that's harmless. A deep scan is going to scan everything. We've also got a speed tester and privacy test. Now, privacy test tells you if your IP address and location is visible. So if you're somebody that likes streaming and using third-party apps, I like to use a VPN because it changes my IP address, it changes your physical location, and it also stops your internet service provider from seeing what you're watching. And all I have to do, I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to check this out if you haven't already got one. They are affiliated links, so they do help support the channel. If you use my links, I want to say thank you very much. And as you can see, when I open up NordVPN, Simply connect to a UK server or US, dependent if I need to use an app from a different region. And that's it, you're connected, you're good to go. Right, that's one of those videos that I do one every year just in case anything's changed, but it drags on a bit, it is a bit boring, but there's constantly people getting new fire sticks and they're, they're new to it, they don't know what to expect or what to change, and that's why I make these. So I hope this video has helped at least two people because then the video was worth making. But leave a comment down below to anything I might have missed, anything you recommend that people do. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you soon. Tere!